Chartered Accountancy, what is it all about? Well, today I intend to answer that exact question and hopefully demystify the profession for you. My name, everyone, is Sinead Fox Hamilton. I'm a chartered accountant myself, and I now work for Chartered Accountants Ireland in a communications role. So today, my job is to be your host of this short showcase video, which I hope will be a fun 101 of chartered accountancy, the who, why, what, where, when and how. Thank you so much for tuning in and let's get our whistle stop tour of this career underway. Let's chat all things chartered. First up, let me properly introduce Chartered Accountants Ireland, also affectionately known as the Institute. We are Ireland's leading largest and longest established professional accounting education and membership body. We have 7,000 students in training and 29,000 qualified members. When you qualify through our Chartered Accountancy Programme, you are awarded those prestigious ACA letters. Fun fact, this stands for Associate Chartered Accountant and you graduate to FCA, Fellow Chartered Accountant, after 10 years of membership. Now those three letters or that ACA designation is a hallmark of excellence and the accreditation is a globally recognised business leadership credential. Qualifying with Chartered Accountants Ireland allows you to brand yourself as a Chartered Accountant. There are other brands of accountants in the market. However, the clout and kudos of being recognised as Chartered and being able to call yourself a Chartered Accountant is why we are the go-to choice for many. For those who enter our profession, we are there at Chartered Accountants Ireland every step of your career educating, supporting, advising. We become your lifelong career partner. The body itself is also a leading voice of the accounting profession and the island's business community. We represent our members' voices and advocate for them, helping to support economic prosperity. In terms of our presence, we are an all-island body with both Belfast and Dublin offices and education facilities. So we are very much local, very much accessible. Now, let's learn more about this highly sought after ACA qualification. Ultimately, becoming a chartered accountant is your passport to career choice and stability, travel and international work, a connected community and best in class professional education. So let's take each of those in turn and explore them a little bit further. First up, career choice and stability. Training to become a Chartered Accountant is a professional development journey. Our SEA programme is so much more than the age-old stigma of number crunching. And guess what? There is no bean counting involved. Now, while absolutely having a numerical aptitude and being finance literate will be important, you sure don't need to be a maths brainiac. So let's debunk that myth straight away and I'll get on to the boring myth later. Chartered Accountancy training essentially focuses on core business skills to shape you as a leader, a decision maker, a problem solver, a strategist, an influencer. You'll become recognised as a trusted advisor. And because this is a business leadership credential, you can work in any sector, practice, business, public, third. And interestingly, 65% of our members work outside of practice or accounting firms. There is a myth that the qualification is associated in the main with practice. So I hope that little stat has debunked that today. Now, while training, yes, 
you need to be in an accounting or finance related role in any sector though. But post qualification, you might choose to branch out further. And indeed, we have members working across diverse roles, both traditional and non-traditional in nature. General management, HR, operations, sales, to name a few. And some may choose to use the entrepreneurial skills they develop in our programme to indeed set up their own businesses. Our members are really working all across the market and indeed at the highest ranks as well. Managing directors, chief executives, business heads are often chartered accountants. It's just great to see how the profession can be so varied and so flexible. It's also a really stable profession and that's important to note. There is always demand for chartered accountants. Employment rates are excellent. Chartered accountants are actively sought after by employers because they are recognised as being desirable candidates to hire because of that ACA qualification and because it's held in such high regard. And I suppose our members are known to be of a certain calibre. Having the SEA designation on your CV really holds strong clout and kudos in the market and it will allow you to enjoy career security. There is also top earning potential within the sector, also further enhancing the attractiveness. Chartered accountants are well paid and that's a great bonus. And continuing on that career choice and stability theme, we are partner to leading employers and the island's largest recruiters of top talent. Our students are training across all sectors and a tiny, tiny snapshot of some of our employer partners is displayed. But we couldn't even begin to try and fit it all in because we are very privileged and proud to enjoy partnerships with fantastic employers right across the market. I suppose this slide is just to reiterate that point that students can train across all sectors and indeed you'll also find our chartered accountant members working in those varied and diverse roles that I mentioned. Another myth that I can debunk is then that it's a boring profession. My experience is that it's quite the opposite. I mean, personally, I've enjoyed a hugely varied career, starting in practice, moving into business, then on to banking, then recruitment, and now my current role in communications. So I can honestly speak firsthand of how the ASEA qualification is a passport to a career of choice. Now, on the topic of passports, Let's talk about travel and international work, because no doubt some of you might have itchy feet and want to travel in the future. The ASCA qualification is very much a global passport also, in that it is an internationally recognised professional accreditation. Chartered Accountants Ireland is part of the Chartered Accountants Worldwide family, and that is 15 professional bodies coming together around the globe, representing then over 700,000 members and 1 million students. Many of our members have chosen to travel with the qualification and about 5,000 Irish chartered accountants are currently working overseas. Popular hotspots include the likes of USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Dubai, to name a few. I think the common theme there is the warmer, drier climates. They are definitely attractive. I don't blame them. You may have also heard of the term mutual recognition agreement and Chartered Accountants Ireland enjoy many of these MRAs with other well-known bodies across the world. For example, we have one with AICPA, which is the dominant accounting body in the States. We have lots, obviously, of US companies in Ireland now, so it's fantastic that our Irish ACA qualification is fully recognised in America, because it's worth flagging that not all professional accounting qualifications are, so that's why many choose Chartered. In effect, I suppose CPA in the States and CPA in Canada, although being different in letters, are direct equivalents to the Irish ACA. A few other interesting facts of note, 99 of the 100 best global brands employ chartered accountants. Chartered accountants are working in more than 200 countries worldwide. More than 50 of the FTSE 100 have a chartered accountant as a chief financial officer, a CFO, but as I said before, you are not restricted to accounting or finance roles. Our members are at senior levels across business and across all sectors. Let's maybe move on to talking more about the connected community point. Chartered Accountants Ireland is renowned for its connectedness. We are a closely knit, exclusive network of business professionals. And by joining our body, 
you become part of that really supportive community of peers with 7,000 students, as I said, and 29,000 members, you are in great company. And in addition to this, you gain a lifelong career partner in ourselves, as I said. We are committed to engaging with and supporting our students and members on their professional journeys. And we have a wide range of service offerings, including coaching, mentoring, and a dedicated CS support function, which helps with matters of emotional and practical support. So we are really invested in helping our students and members in the round. We are also keen to ensure we remain relevant and stay well connected across our special chartered community. So I suppose in addition to the centrally run activity from our offices in Dublin Pier Street and Belfast Linen Hall Street, which are pictured, we also have regional and society activity. We have a strong network of student and member led committees right across the island, which is fantastic. And it's perhaps worth mentioning our community is diverse. It's inclusive. Another myth that exists is that it's a stuffy, old, dated profession that is male dominated. Not the case at all. I am so delighted to say it's a really fresh, dynamic profession and that female representation is almost at equilibrium to the males, which is brilliant. It's also a profession that is invested in the public good. And that's exactly what our charter represents. And we are always so proud to see the fantastic charity work of our members, both from a fundraising point of view, but also in terms of them giving their time and expertise to deserving charities and community groups and such likes. I suppose being a chartered accountant equips you with a fantastic skill set that allows you to help others and to make a difference. At Chartered Accountants Ireland ourselves, we are also proud to be sustainability and SDG advocates. And we are working to ensure the profession and sector play an active role in making a positive impact in this space. Also, we're invested in building a brighter and better future for all. Now, all of these wonderful things I've mentioned are central to our profession, of course, and they keep us all busy. However, we also find time to facilitate a programme of social activity as we do recognise the importance of relationship building and also just creating opportunities to engage. So from balls, quizzes, sports events, comedy nights, food tours, international trips, we have a wide ranging agenda with something for everyone. And you'll see pictured the Titanic building in Belfast and the convention centre in Dublin lit up in our brand colours, snapped at previous annual dinners where hundreds of members attend and enjoy a nice evening and opportunity to network. So as I mentioned before, we are far from boring and we really like having fun too. So that rounded approach just that I've talked about helps ensure that we remain well connected and our students and our members thoroughly enjoy the reward and benefits of being part of a professional family. And there is a genuine sense of pride and belonging. Now let's touch on our best in class professional education next. When you train with Chartered Accountants Ireland, you can feel confident you are going to be set up for success with our renowned quality education programme. We do not outsource any delivery. All is in-house, so all is well connected. You don't have to worry about disjointed delivery. And that's a key differentiator to other accounting bodies. You're not faced with that daunting task of trying to find a reputable tuition provider all is wrapped in with our program so you can feel comfortable you are getting a chartered standard of quality and students will reap the rewards because we have the best pass rates in the market and significantly so our rates are typically at the 80 percent plus level which is excellent for a professional level program and speaking firsthand having been there done that got the t-shirt our program and exams they are challenging i mean they have to be this is a professional level qualification and that's why it's so reputable and why it's held in such high regard. But our standard of education is such that it will equip you to do well. And that's why 83% qualify faster when they choose chartered. We also pledge to keep our programme up to date and under continuous review. So our syllabus is modern, it's progressive. That future proofs your skill development. So recent content refreshes include weaving in modules on AI, RPA, data, blockchain, cryptocurrencies. So really, really cool stuff. And we also have exclusive partnerships with Alteryx, 
UiPath and Tableau so students benefit from practical learning and access to these technologies as well. And we have a state of the art learning management hub and have dedicated supports in place to assist our students through their journey. And there are also future lifelong learning options, post qualification and continuous professional development opportunities. Now, hopefully the profession and the program is something you're open to considering. If so, let's touch a little on the practical information points now. How do you become a chartered accountant? Well, there are a few minimum prerequisites to gain entry to the programme. You need to be either a degree holder in any subject, a holder of an Accounting Technicians Ireland qualification, or indeed you can switch from another body across to us, which many do, to benefit from the chartered brand and title. And then there are two pathways to qualification. One, the training contract, and two, the flexible route. And I'll talk a little bit more about them shortly. The programme itself has two core elements, the academic course and then the professional development piece. Successfully passing our exams and completing the relevant work experience quorum will then enable you to qualify as a chartered accountant and enjoy using that ACA designation. So let's talk a little bit more about those entry routes. For those of you coming from third level education, all degree holders are welcome. However, there may be a difference in your starting point on our programme, depending on what course you've studied, because those coming from related areas may benefit from exemptions. So what are exemptions? Well, exemptions are basically credits allowing you to bypass some of our subjects because you've already covered the same content in your previous education. So if your prior education syllabus matches ours in any area, we grant you an exemption. Full or partial exemptions from level one or level two of our programme are often awarded to those coming from undergrad degrees in related subjects like accounting, finance, business type courses. Also, those from postgrad diplomas in accounting and masters in accounting. Once you qualify from your degree, you can contact us and we can confirm your position. And all pre-accredited courses are listed on our website under the exemptions area if you want to check that out. If you come from a non-related degree, it's likely that you'll start at the beginning of our three level programme. I came from law, so that's what I did. And we have so many students that come from a huge variety of backgrounds and employers actually often really like hiring a mixed bag of skill sets. So don't worry, level one of our programme will assume you have no accounting knowledge and will equip you with all the learning of all the fundamentals needed to progress through the programme successfully. So on this slide, I just want to echo, we absolutely welcome grads from all backgrounds on boarding with us. If you're coming then from an ATI background, you can complete the programme either via the apprenticeship path at ATI or via the traditional path and then come on to our chartered programme. I suppose with the apprenticeship pathway, you'll study with ATI for two years in a special fixed programme, and it's a very popular school lever entry route to our profession. And with the traditional pathway, the model and journey can just differ slightly. But ultimately, if you complete the two year programme in either pathway within the required time frame and achieve the minimum required results, then there is potential to gain three exemptions at our level one when you move on to the chartered programme. So let's get into the detail of our SEA programme and the Chartered Pathways to Qualification a little more. As mentioned earlier, the SEA programme is made up of two equally important elements, education and experience, and you can only qualify on successful completion of both. So you must complete the academic course and pass the associated exams, and you must complete a quorum of professional work experience in a relevant role and we'll chat more about that shortly. In terms of the qualification pathways then, there are two, as I said, the training contract and the flexible route. So first up, the training contract. What are the key features? Well, this is an employer-led training journey. Students will source a trainee role directly from employers and both the education and work experience are wrapped into an official training agreement with an employer registered to train and tuition fees are covered and a quota of study leave is offered as part of this. So it's a quite structured training model and students complete the course on a consecutive basis in a set time frame, 
On average, that's three and a half years, but I'll touch more on that later. And this one is often connected to graduate schemes. In terms of the flexible route then, key features are that it's typically a student-led training journey. However, many employers support in the background. They're just not mandated to be involved like with the training contract. And with the flexible route, independent self-funded journeys are also viable. I suppose ultimately students can roll directly with us on the study program element. However, many employers do actively offer flexible routes sponsored and supported roles in full or part. Again, it's a student's responsibility to source the relevant employment directly from the market. And another differential to flag with this model is that it allows, obviously, as the name says, more flexibility. And that's in terms of the overall journey. You have eight years to complete the education and work experience elements and they don't need to be run concurrently and your studies don't need to run consecutively either. So you have the ability to break down levels and take subjects and exams on a piecemeal basis should you wish. Now with both pathways, you complete the exact same program, but having two options means you have choice to select one that suits your circumstances and preferences best. Now let's talk a little bit more about that education journey. As I mentioned, there are three levels of our ACA academic course, and each level is taught over an academic year that is run from autumn to spring summer. And then the associated exams follow with sittings in summer and autumn winter. How many levels you have to complete will depend on your prior experience and if you have been granted any exemptions. I came from a non-related background, as I said, coming from law. So I completed all three levels and because I came through a training contract pathway, I completed each course level consecutively. So year one in my job, I undertook level one, year two, level two, year three, level three. The education or study element is designed to be a bolt on to your job. So you'll be working full time, gaining that important professional experience, and then you complete the academic course in your own time. Classes are held after hours or at weekends just to facilitate this. But don't worry, it is absolutely designed to be manageable and there are so many supports available to help students along the way. And we have a fantastic learning hub and best in class tutors and a flexible delivery model that facilitates remote on demand learning and online examination. So the academic course then. You'll see a snapshot here of the three levels that I've been talking about. CAP 1 stands for Chartered Accountancy Proficiency 1, CAP 2, Chartered Accountancy Proficiency 2, and FAE, Final Admitting Exams. And within each level, there is a number of topics and areas to cover, and you'll see the subject names listed. Level 1 and 2, CAP 1 and CAP 2, they're the technical focused levels building the skills across all those accounting and finance fundamentals, equipping you then to work across any sector and um, post qualification. At level three then at FAE, all is integrated together and this is where your skills as a strategist, a problem solver, a critical thinker are put to the test because the content is broad and it stretches across commercial and business challenges. And we weave in all the juicy areas that I mentioned before, emerging technologies, AI, data, etc. And at FAE, you also have a choice of elective subject. So you can pick from financial services, public sector, advisory, tax or audit which then allows you to deep dive further into maybe an area of particular relevance or interest to you. Now on this graphic, the bottom boxes give a visual of the potential full or partial exemptions that may be awarded against each level also. At CAP 1, you may be eligible to bypass this level in full or in part if you're a holder of an ATI qualification, a related degree or postgraduate diploma or masters. At CAP 2, you may be eligible to bypass this level in full if you have completed a recognised master's or postgraduate diploma in accounting. And there are nine accredited courses. All students must complete the FAE level then. No exemptions are awarded here. And that also applies to members switching across from other bodies. If you want to check potential exemptions, you'll be required to submit to us an application. That goes to our admissions team and they, along with the relevant evidence that you provide, they'll confirm what you might be awarded. And our exemption checking service that is completely 
non-obligation and free of charge. Now, moving on to the work experience journey, I'll touch on this briefly before I finish up. Students can gain the required professional development experience in any place of employment where they can access relevant accounting and finance work and where there's a qualified accountant to act as a mentor. So we will provide students with a framework of competencies and ask them to complete an online log or diary. It's known as the CEA diary, outlining the details then of their role and the growth over the training period under supervision of a workplace mentor. The graphic on display shows some of the competencies and the values that should be demonstrated. And those marked with an asterisk are mandatory. You'll note now that under the functional or technical stream, financial reporting is the only mandated competency. There is another myth that this qualification is aligned to audit or tax, but these are not core requirements. Now, if you get exposure to them, that's a bonus, but it is not essential in our framework. We are very focused on tracking your development as a wider business leader, ensuring that you cultivate strong communication, management, technology skills, for example, and that you evolve into a trusted value driven professional. The work experience quorum, now that's dictated by your previous education history. So ATI qualification holders must log four years of work experience with us, three and a half years for degree holders, and it's three years for accredited postgraduate diploma and master's holders. For those completing the qualification with the training contract pathway, the length of the contract will match the work experience quorum. So when you complete your diary, this is reviewed and signed off by your in workplace mentor to ensure that it's a true and fair representation of the work undertaken. It's then submitted to us for final assessment. Assuming all is in order, we approve it. And as long as you have all your exams completed successfully, we can then admit you to membership and award you those prestigious letters ACA and you can use the exclusive title of Chartered Accountant. Job done. And then you can go on to enjoy the benefits of membership. And of course, there are further study options should you be a keen learner. But today was all about demystifying the Chartered Accountancy profession and qualification. So I hope my presentation has done that. Now, before I leave you and wrap up, let's very quickly recap on some of the main differentiators of the Chartered Accountants Ireland qualification. So our SEA accreditation we learned is the most prestigious professional accounting and business leadership credential in the market. It's globally recognized and the chartered community is the largest and most connected exclusive professional network. Our body is all island with a physical presence in Belfast and in Dublin. So we are local and we are accessible. We're on hand to support our students and members. And in terms of our education, it is best in class. It's in-house, we don't rely on third parties and we have the best pass rates in the market, significantly so. And we have the least exams actually. Students who choose Chartered will qualify faster than with other bodies. Chartered accountants are also in constant demand. So there is strong job security and there's top earning potential within the sector also, which makes it a really, really attractive choice. So folks, that is a whistle stop tour of the highlights of my talk. If I can leave you with one key takeaway, it's that chartered accountancy is a passport to a career of choice. You will develop as a business leader and be able to enjoy work in any sector, in varied roles at home or abroad. Thank you so much for listening to me. And if you would like to find out more, we would love it if you would check out our careers hub at www becomeacharteredaccountant.com. There are fantastic resources and videos there. And you can also contact us at info at charteredaccountants.ie. And for all the latest updates, please also follow our careers page on Instagram. Thanks again for joining me. And I hope we get the opportunity to welcome you into our chartered community in the future. Take care. Whatever your dream job is, being a chartered accountant will help you get there. If you're not sure where the road is going to take you, just make sure that you're ready for the journey. 
It's the difference between me having the career and the opportunities I have now and not. I wouldn't be in the role that I'm in. I wouldn't have had the opportunities I had if I didn't have the, the CA qualification. It's one of the best qualifications you can get. When you actually say that you're a chartered accountant, people's eyes do light up. Oh, you're, you're chartered. It's not just your day-to-day -day bookkeeping. It's being able to go and, and have face-to-face -face conversations with clients and, and help them through challenging times. It is a great opportunity to build a foundation to sort of springboard yourself into whatever else you might want to do. I always describe it as the biology of business. I mean, learning chartered accountants is what happens when you like cut open a business, really get inside it and, and have a look at what makes it tick. I didn't realise I was joining a family. <laughs> but you just feel so proud to have it and it's really cool to be part of this huge global family as well.